Welcome back, it's Melanie or She Shed Scrapper. So today I am back with another one page layout. Uh, I think primarily using color study from Vicki Booten. I have come to realize this month that I have used almost all of the collections I own from Vicki Booten this month. So definitely diving into my stash and using up what I can. Well, I guess not using up because I still have a bunch left, but you know, using up things. This um, mixed media layout though, or paper came from the Discover and Create um, mixed media pad. Uh, I do know that. And I just kind of went off of this color scheme and I stuck with the orange and the pink. Uh, now that I'm looking at it while it's when it's all done, the polka dotted paper around the edge probably was not necessary or I should have done kind of a layer of black maybe to split it up a little bit. Um, it's just, is a, it's a lot. Uh, I did do a, or I cut a smaller amount off on each side, um, but it's still a lot. I have this one photo here. If you watched um, kind of how I store and print my photos, this is a photo that I printed um, during that kind of how-to video and I did leave a white border around it when I printed it and then I did end up uh, for this layout I ended up um adding I think more orange um around the outside for another border so again I'm sticking with the orange and pink theme um the photos from New Year's Eve and I'll probably print it again and use it I might keep this one for myself um, in journal about my boys, but I'll probably print it again for my son for um, New Year's Eve. But I loved um, how my oldest, who's giving the bunny ears, <laughs> has that bright orange shirt on. So I just felt like it worked really nicely. These two pieces are left over from the other layout I did using color study this month. If you haven't watched that, I will link it up above. Definitely watch that one. That one was one that is completely out of my normal. I did some mixed media, uh, flower heavy. I just absolutely had so much fun with it though and loved making it, loved the outcome of it. It might be one I display in my she shed and I only have room for two. So not to tell any of that, I, I really do like that. So I just used up these two pieces left over. I thought they made great layering pieces. Um, and again, we're with the color scheme. I did find this kind of tab. It was probably supposed to be journaling or whatever, but I liked how it did kind of add another element, more colors. Uh, and so I did back or put that behind my photo. I am going to use the um, big title. I think it's Love, Love, Love This World, maybe, or This Life. Um, and I think what I'm going to journal about is just almost my kids' um, personalities. I feel like this picture captures my oldest personality perfectly. Um, my youngest hates it. He hates that he photobombed this picture and is giving him bunny ears. So I'll probably just journal something along those lines and keep this layout for myself. Um, again, just kind of, I'm not going to lie, I struggled a little bit with embellishing because I did want to stick, re I really, really wanted to stick with the pink and orange. Um, you can see I added that um, tag to the left there and then that life captured. I thought that worked really well. Um, didn't really need another title, but I really like this Oh Yeah. I thought um, it was just a fun title for the picture. Uh, so I am going to add that to the top there and my photo is popped up on foam tape. So it is kind of odd where the top of the Y is like actually on the paper and then the bottom of the Y is like on the photo that has popped up, but I don't think you can really tell close up even um, I don't think it looks odd. I have lots of those layered flowers and so I knew I wanted to use quite a few of those as well and lucky for me I had multiple ones that were pink and orange. So I added one to the pie chart at the top um, or the pie whatever it's called. Um, wanted to kind of spruce up that tag a little bit so I did add one there and then I did add another one to the bottom right by the I guess 
you could say subtitle. I don't know. Um, I thought about these butterflies. Butterflies usually aren't my thing. However, I did add them to that other layout I was telling you about. And I love the way that they look on that layout. They're acetate. And that's probably, I have them so that the wings stick up. And I think that's part of the reason I want to display it as well. Because I really don't want to flatten those butterflies out. I like how the butterflies give it that 3D effect. Um, I guess another option would be for me to add it into a um, shadow box. I do have one of those in the house, but that layout using color study and Vicki Booten, you know, is very, very colorful and doesn't really match <laughs> the inside of my house. So it'll probably, probably be displayed in the she shed. I wanted something in the top right and I went back into the papers, found this tag that has words on the bottom, but I am going to trim it so that I just have like the top of the tag and that's going to be coming down. So I cut the words off. Uh, I picked this tag again because it does have that orange um, and like pink theme. Want to add another one of those layered flowers. Again, I had when I started this month, I had four full packs of these layered flowers. And between these two layouts, I am down to, I think, just two packs. I consolidated because you can see there's a lot of green, purple, um, blue. So I ended up consolidating and like combining what I had left. And I think I only have 10 left. So I did really good this month and used up two full embellishment packs. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is, I think, something to be proud of. So if you have done that this month, congratulations. Um, I'm proud of you because I know a lot of us like to hoard, hoard our things. And I think that's why I kind of, yeah, had so many. I didn't want to use them, but now I'm like extremely happy that I did use them. And yeah, kind of used up some of the older collections too. So now I'm just adding um, some of the puffy dots and again, trying to stick with that pink and orange, add some yellow in there. Um, but I didn't have enough of just those colors to add them in all the spots I wanted. So I think on maybe the sticker sheet, there were some gold dots um, on the cardstock sticker sheet. And so I think I do end up adding a few of those sprinkled throughout as well um, because I did add a few um, gold hearts. Um, there's one at the top on the tag, another one um, next to the flower next to the top title. Um, so this part, this ending of this video took me a while because I just kept rearranging all of these puffy um, dots, trying to kind of come up with combinations, see if I wanted three in each of the clusters or if I could get away with two. Um, but I do finally bring out the gold from these sticker sheets, which I do have multiple of because I think one came with a Not Just For Boys kit club. And so I did use up the majority of that using, or creating that layout that they, um, for that kit. Um, but then of course I had to buy another one for myself. So we're coming to the realization that I have too much product. And so I am really trying to limit what I buy this year and use up, um, my stash. So you'll be seeing kind of probably, I say older, but obviously I've bought stuff at the end of last year. So older collections, possibly a few newer ones coming up this, um, this year that I have my eye on and the cocoa vanilla one that I bought already, but you'll definitely see some older collections this year, I think, but I hope you guys enjoyed this fun, colorful layout and we will see you next time. Bye guys.